Martin. What a lovely night. You know, it has been a great night, Cynthia, and uh, it's actually a very special night. Well, uh, Cynthia, you made me the happiest man in the world and be my wife. <gasps> oh my god, Martin! Yes! You might want to think about that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a whisper on the wind. I'm at a full tank of gas in an open highway. I'm the call to adventure that you don't want to miss. I'm the road man. <laughs> wow, Cynthia, it's one of those American mystical spirits. The spirit of the road. He's right. I come to people when they're about to make the biggest mistake of their lives. And offer them a different choice. The choice of the road. <laughs> um, sorry, I love Martin. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with him. Listen, you can spend the rest of your life shackled to this milk toast idiot. Hey, no offense. <laughs> or you could live a perfect life, have a thriving family and a wonderful career. Or you could ride with me. We'd spend nights laid out under the stars or maybe the pouring rain doing whatever manual labor we can to scrape by enough cash to feed my crushing opioid addiction. <laughs> it would be just you and the road man. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Um, yeah, sorry, that sounded terrible. Um, I don't want to do any of that. Look. You can listen to what they say. They say you should settle down. They say you should get a job. They say that I have three completely blocked valves in my heart. <laughs> and if I go over 40 miles per hour on my hog, my heart will burst right out of my chest. If you were on the back when that happened, you'd definitely die. So do you want to hop on? I have a spare helmet, but I eat tuna out of it, so. God, I'm okay. Martin, can we get out of here? Yeah, I think it's just the homeless guy. Wait! If that's your choice, fine. But this is your last chance to ride. Just you and me and my hog. And by that I mean my literal hog. I have a 600 pound pet pig. He's very sick and you'll have to take care of him. Look, the lady said no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's not the only one with a choice, Martin. What? <laughs> That's right. You could spend your life married to some dirty bag of socks and jeans. Hey. No offense. You could get a job in upper middle management, get two weeks paid vacation a year, or you could ride with me. Well, I have always wanted to travel. <laughs> I just want to hear him out. Yes, you and I could lay out nights, telling each other secrets, tending to each other's open infected wounds, letting older men watch us make love for pennies a minute. <laughs> Best buds with the road man. Tear down this wall. You get it, Taco Bell. I don't want any of that. Yeah, let's get out of here. Whoa! Maybe you don't want that, but maybe you do want some sweet donuts. <laughs> Sweet at all. Can you go? Yeah. Wait! Can I at least crash at your place? But I can only sleep standing up in a room where two other people are sleeping. No. <laughs> Fine. But the next time you hear the cry of a lost soul, an engine opening up on an open road, or a very sick pig having violent diarrhea, that may just be the sound of the road man. Tear down this wall. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs>